I want to tell you, President Biden, Vice President Harris, I am so grateful for you all keeping your word to Sherelle, to the Griner family. To those of you out there who are saying that Brittany deserved this, shame on you. And may you never be in a position where you need grace, where you need mercy. It is such a good day. Um, this is a day that many of us have prayed for, have thought about, have cried about, have longed for. I woke up this morning to the news that Brittany Griner would be coming home. And I thought for a moment that I would be, I was dreaming, I was like, is this real? And then immediately I thought about Sherelle. I'm sending you so much love, Sherelle. Um, Brittany, I hope to be able to meet you one day very soon. I um, was supposed to be on air earlier, but the segment was canceled. And so I wanted to come on my live, which I hardly ever do anymore, y'all, to just tell you all thank you for everybody who signed that change.org petition, for my sisters in the WNBA, um, Terry Jackson at the Players Association, um, Brittany's agent, Lindsay, um, the folks at ESPN that made it possible to hold that very important interview, Sherelle's first with me um, on the network that aired during NBA countdown during the playoffs. Um, you know, it was, it was just so important. It was so important. And so I'm so grateful for that. Um, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to add my voice to such an important cause. To those of you out there who are saying that Brittany deserved this, shame on you. And may you never be in a position where you need grace, where you need mercy. Um, this has probably been one of the most difficult experiences in her life. And Brittany, true to form, is a victor. She's an overcomer, she's more than a conqueror, and she is back home. And so to those of you who just believed and lent your voice online, and again, signed the petition and educated people about this, for those of you who called the White House um, to ensure that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris knew how important this was, shout out to y'all and to the Biden administration. Y'all get a lot of heat. Y'all get heat from me too. I want to tell you, President Biden, Vice President Harris, I am so grateful for you all keeping your word to Sherelle, to the Griner family. I know you have a lot of work to do with other folks who are held hostage and are political pawns abroad, but I want you to know this did not go unnoticed. And I am so grateful um, to everybody at home. I know this is a rough season. It's been a really tough season for me too. I hope that you take this moment today to smile. If you pray, tell God, thank you. If you don't, send some good energy somewhere, light some sage, some incense, do something. But this is what We Are BG was all about, right? And may we always remember what it's like to um, have a loved one go missing, to have a loved one wrongfully incarcerated, even overseas um, and domestically. May we always have this kind of grace and patience and may we always work together as a team so that we can show this country, this world, the best of us. And we always remember to fight for us. And let's just do this doggone thing. Um, so I'm thankful for all of you, for everybody who sent me thank yous. Just know like Sherelle, meeting Sherelle, that was my reason. Sherelle is a powerful force. I know Brittany is so, so thankful for her. Um, but truly, she really ensured that I understood the gravity of this at every turn. And for those of you who are holding on to hope for loved ones elsewhere, I'm hoping with you and know that it's possible. Miracles do happen every day, right in time for Christmas too, okay? So anyway, sending y'all love and so much gratitude for showing up for Brittany Griner. Hashtag we are BG. May the struggle continue and may it get easier. Can we not struggle in 2023? How about that? All right. <laughs> y'all take care.